All right, folks, it is December 9th, 2022, and this is my 23-month Lance Yockham's anniversary house not completed video. I try to do this every month. Most people know that. I think I may have missed a month because, you know, nothing's happening. I understand that this house was officially by contract, supposed to be done in January of 2021. Now, admittedly, there were a few delays, you know, that I had to own, and I get it. It was supposed to be done like a week or two later. But it's just easy to remember that by contract, in writing, this house was supposed to be done almost two years ago, or 23 months ago. And of course, it's not done. And as everybody knows, Lance has filed suit which is fine. Uh, the Milwaukee court system is backed up for years because of the COVID and pandemic and all that other stuff. But it still means that I provide updates. So nothing's happened. House still has deficiencies, still has issues that need to be fixed. That's the way it's going to be. I suspect it's going to be that way for a long time. I've had some discussions with friends saying, okay, so what if the courts order Lance to fix it? Well, he hasn't done anything so far. So why would a court ordering Lance to do something change Lance's behavior? That's an excellent question. Hopefully there'll be some teeth like punishment. But the real question is, the court says to Lance Yockums, you have to finish the house. You have a contract. You haven't finished it. It doesn't meet standards, blah, 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 blah. And Lance has a record of going, no, we know there's the Metropolitan or Milwaukee or the Metropolitan Building Association standards. It's a booklet. I have it. Lance has it. Everybody has it. And it tells you what's supposed to be done and the degree to which it's supposed to be done. Well, Lance just ignores it. I mean, we I have clearly made it obvious where there are deficiencies that don't meet the MBA or Mike Bravo Alpha Metropolitan Builders Association standards. And he just goes, meh, whatever. It doesn't apply to him. It doesn't apply to him because he's not following the rules. So the other question, I had a friend over a couple of days ago who said, well, why does Lance think he can get away with it? You know, that's good speculation. My, my buddy said, well, because he's always gotten away with it. And then the other question is, why is he going to all this trouble, expense, and time over what amounts to $40,000. And don't get me wrong, $40,000 is a lot of money. I'm not saying it isn't a lot of money. That's not what I'm saying. But if you look at the cost of what an attorney per hour costs, which on average is about $300 an hour, he and I, I freely admit that I'll be a part of this, will spend 20, 30 grand deciding this issue. It's insane, it makes no sense. And understandably, if Lance feels somehow he can't finish the house, wouldn't it be just cheaper for him to find somebody who can take care of the problem? I mean, seriously, I can't do it. You understand, by Wisconsin law, I cannot fix the deficiencies. That's against the law for me to do that. Wisconsin law says that the builder, Lance Yockums, has the priority to being given the first try. Well, that's not happening, but I cannot do it. I cannot fix the deficiency in the house. Now, obviously, I think if there was a ruptured pipe or there was an electrical emergency, I think the courts would probably go, yeah, we understand that you had to do it. It was a safety issue. But the cosmetic stuff, um, there's a problem with the antenna coming into the main living room, uh, this, the uh, air antenna. Its connection is screwed up. I can't fix that. It's against the law. Isn't that odd? You have a house with a problem. It hasn't been finished. The contractor won't finish it, but you can't fix it yourself. Such is life. If I knew all the insanity in the world and could explain it, I would. So that's about it. Uh, we're having, as you can tell, a very nice snowfall. They say two to four inches today. 
Uh, it's probably in the low 30s. Now, I love snow. I just love snow. Uh, I don't like driving in it during the first snow because like places that had the first rain or etc., people just seem to forget how to do it. So you have to maintain a little more distance. People slide on corners. They don't understand that their tires aren't very good. But it is so pretty and it is so restful. And it's fun to go cross country skiing in or snowshoeing or just hiking. These are all fun things to do. I don't like the severe cold. I mean, if it gets down to minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit, oh, God, that is terrible. But the snow, oh, it's gorgeous. And yeah, it does damage some of the trees because the limbs fall because they get heavy and wet. But that's just the way it is. It's been that way for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. So I don't worry about it. And so I'm looking out there. Hopefully we get two, four inches. I do have a friend with a plow who said he'll be glad to plow the driveway. Oh, that'll be so nice. I mean, I've got a snowblower. Don't get me wrong. I can do it myself. Not an issue. But he can bring in his plow, back drag, back drag, back drag, back drag, back drag, and push it out. Life is good. So it's not a real impediment there. So I love you all, and I hope this is useful, especially for people who are looking for a contractor. Uh, understand that they have a lot of power. And I always try to tell people, what would I have done differently? Well, there was no way I could have known Lance was Lance. There's no way. There's nothing you can search for on the internet that would reveal that information. And when I met him, things were fine. What I think you do in any situation, what I would do, is take the contract to an attorney. Spend one or two hours worth of time, three to $600, and have the attorney review the contract and tell you any issues they might see. Because you're gonna spend way more for an attorney after the fact and aggravation. It seems a little silly to do, but it's the way it is. Life goes on. So I love you all. Hope you're having a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.